The unemployment choo-choo is going off the rails. There's no wind in our sails, and we got nothing left to do. Here's the unemployment choo-choo. All right, Jeff, another week. Here are the unemployment choo-choo, and I'm excited because this is this is a, this is going to be a good week, Jeff. This is this is not only a holiday week, but we have a lot of special things planned for our, our friends. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, Feliz Navidad, my friend. Yes, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm feeling festive. Um, I'm feeling fruitcake. Well, you know what's funny? I mean, obviously, we're going to do a lot of... uh, We have a lot of great Christmas Rizzo and Jeff throwbacks coming up this week. Uh, I believe we did a Festivus for the Rest of Us listener court. That's coming up this week. But this is a very special... So special, Jeff, that we actually named this week. And this week, it's going to be sort of like a... Our year in review, and while we've been unemployed for most of the year, there is there's, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> there's been, yes, we haven't had a job most of the year, but but there's a lot that's happened. Yes, uh, you know it was a busy year. We did keep up on it. Uh, you know, a lot of people could easily just fade into the into the darkness and stuff, but uh, we did not do that. And uh, it's uh, it's been a year to say, yeah. And uh, so without any further ado, we have something really special for you guys. And of course, you know, you guys know us. We're always up on all the latest and greatest stuff. You know, we love, I mean, we just love talking about just different birthdays. We love, you you know, we just love all kinds of celebrity information. We just, we're, we're just, we just love it. We just we just get we just get a hankering right around this time of the year, wouldn't you say so, Jeff? Uh, well, we get our Harvey Levin on, okay. Oh yeah. Uh, so if you don't know anything about us, but uh, you you put us anything, you know, we're, we're like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Like, oh. We are like that in tuned into everything celebrity happening. So. Uh, it does excite us, yes. Well, without any further ado, and again, thank you for checking out the unemployment choo-choo, but this is day one, Jeff, and this is going to be a hell of a week, and we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, but uh, today begins the best week of the year for the Rizzo and Jeff fan base. It's the Rizzo and Jeff hankering for the holiday, wacky week, day one. Oh, I love to hanker. Oh, are you ha- are you hankering? I'm hankering for a little holiday. Yes. Well, guess what? Let's start the hanker. We have a perfect hanker song, and we have so much to tell you. So, Jeff, just just get us ready. Are you just just get us excited? Tell us how much you're hankering, and just say welcome to 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 Rizzo and Jeff's hankering for the holiday wacky week. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. If you ain't pumped, if you're not ready, if you're not ready to get up, get out, get off. Yes. And get fired up for a little Kris Kringle coming your way. Well, I'll tell you what. The Wacky Week. It begins and it begins now. Hey! Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting. Walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting. Walla, walla, bang, bang. Oh, yeah! Ooh, ee, ooh, All right! Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting. Walla, walla, bang, bang. You know, you might be listening, Jeff. Oh, yeah. You might be saying, WWTF is happening here, okay? But I got to tell you, there's so much, and nothing gets me, you know, hankering for the holidays like a little bit of Walla Walla Bing Banging. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we can't fit down the chimney, but I'll tell you what, we can Walla Walla, we can Bing Bang, Ding Dang, we can do it all for the holidays because we're hankering. That's right, and we're Bing Banging, we're Ding Danging, and you know, the first thing that I want to Bing Bang and I want to Ding Dang, Jeff, if, if it's okay with you. No, please ding and uh, especially dang away. All right. So, uh, well, how about this, Jeff? There's a lot been going on. I think what we're going to do this week is, you know, we're going to be doing our regular podcast, but we're going to start each podcast with uh, a a year in review. 2020, a lot's been going on, but there's been a lot of negative stuff. So we want to kind of keep it with... has there? I haven't noticed. Oh, yes. we're (laughs) We're in the midst of a global pandemic, Jeff. And I think that, you know, people don't want to talk about the pandemic. No, why wouldn't they? Let's get into a deep conversation about it. I'll tell you why. Because they want to. They want to. They want to talk about you know their favorite things, things that are relatable to everybody, things like birthdays of celebrities, things like breakups of celebrities, and uh, you know, always Jeff, a really uh-huh. good joke. Are you tickling me with the holly? I'm tickling you. 
Listen, I have an I I have something to tell you, because Jeff. Because when when the word celebrity birthdays come out of your mouth, mm. I'll tell you what, it has me hankering. A hankering? It has you hankering what for a little holiday love? Give it to me. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and ah, uh, ting uh, tang, walla walla bing bang, ting tang, walla walla bing bang. All right, all right, Jeff. Let's get into it, shall we? Now I'm gonna leave this up to you. Do we want to do? And this is gonna be your call. Do you want to do? Start the week off. Oh, of course. Well, well, you know, because you know what? I, I'll be honest. Full disclosure. You were the one who really started the hanker. I love to hanker, but you were the one who said, you know what, Riz Pops, I'm hankering. So I'm going to let but you. Know, but you know what the other truth is? I couldn't hanker without you. I can't hanker alone. Oh, oh, thanks. So you can't hanker alone. You need someone to hanker with. Oh, I'm glad we hanker together. I, you know what? If there was anyone in this world that I could hanker with, I'm glad it's you. So uh, we're going to start out here, Jeff. I have either some really great festive Christmas jokes because you're ready to hanker for a holiday, or I have some celebrity breakup information. How do you want to start this Rizzo and Jeff hankering, or excuse me, this Rizzo and Jeff a hankering for a holiday wacky week? Don't forget the egg. Uh, you know what? Let's get the bad out of the way first, huh? Let's just sweep that right uh, right underneath the old tree there. Get it out of the way, okay? So you... we'll go with we'll go with the breakups. Wow, we're gonna go with celebrity breakups, which means, guys, you're gonna have to keep listening to this Rizzo and Jeff podcast all week long because not only are we hankering for holidays, but we have some great jokes coming your way. Uh, Jeff, the biggest celebrity breakups of 2020, and you know, we really watch these closely. And um, some people have had good years in relationships, but 2020 has been a bad year for a lot of celebrities. And um, uh, Yeah, I know. I, I make sure that I text you every time I see one. I remember you, te- you know. I remember you texted me uh, about three weeks ago, and you said, our good pal Rustin Kelly... Uh, he broke up with his longtime girlfriend, Casey Musgraves, and I said, oh, no, Jeff, if Rustin's not happy, we're not happy. I think we I think we stopped for a whole day uh, contacting each other because we needed the time, mm-hmm. uh, you know, to kind of take it all in. Yep. Um, Casey Musgraves, you know, just uh, such a, a huge star, an yep. icon uh, to the world. Yep. And uh, you know who else has had a really, really bad year for love, Jeff? Who would that be? Our good friend Miley Cyrus. Oh, Billy Ray's little spawn. Yes, huh? yes. Billy. Well, here's the thing. You know, most people have one really bad breakup, you know, each year. And uh, unfortunately, our friend Miley Cyrus, she had two big-time breakups. In 2020, Ooh, year, huh? Yeah, Ooh, th- boy. This was not this was not Miley's year. Uh, I'll just tell you this first. She had that beautiful. Well, you know what? Hold on. This is this is the best way to explain Miley here. Hold on. Don't you ever say I just walked away? I will always love you. Okay, so she said this. She's broken. Oh God, you're so adult contemporary. I am. I'm so contemporary, yeah. aren't I? Yeah. Well. Ho- so we're going to announce her two breakups. Now, here's the first one. This is the one that really upset a lot of people. I can live alive. Running for my life, I will always want you. Okay, and when... She came in like a wrecking ball, and she lost her hubby, Liam, Jeff. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. This is such a well-produced program. <laughs> Uh, all put together. Thank you. Yeah, you know, um, you know, a marriage, uh, there was love there, but, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to understand that if love doesn't work out at first, let it go, let it be. Send it on its way. Well, if it y- comes back, it truly is L-O-V-E. Here's the breakup that really upset me. I don't know if you're familiar, because Miley had two breakups, so she broke up with her husband, but then I was happy for her, Jeff, because she found love. She found somebody else. To fill that void in her life. 
she found somebody who I thought they were they were a match made in heaven. And uh, because this is such a uh, contemporary, adult contemporary, well produced program, Jeff, tell me if you know who this is. Wear a fresh pair of shoes, cause this young girl, she's such a killer. Can't wait till I have it, I'ma spend half oh. a miller. Half a miller. Together on the oh. Floor. We're living like we hit the jackpot. Uh. Cha-ching. Like you like my favorite know, song on the radio. Oh my God, who is it? Because, you know, I was uh, speaking on uh, the radio in a time of, you know, some fun pop tunes. Okay. And, uh, good old... Cody Simpson. Cody from, Simpson. From down under, from yeah. Australia. A, a An original Disney Channel boy, much like Miley began her career on the Disney Channel. She found Cody Simpson, and they were only together for two months and nine days, Jeff. You know, uh, he's got a weird uh, jawline. That's so weird that you said that because I'm freeze-framing on this video that I'm playing here. And it's like a square jaw, but his teeth are like individual mounds. Uh, they look like, um, have you ever had a Peter Paul Mounds bar? A Peter Paul Mounds? I've had a Mounds bar. Is, is that, is, is is that it, the one with the coconut? Yeah, isn't it called a Peter Paul Mounds? Uh, in your world. Sure. Okay, well, uh, it, it looks like whoever, a li- Whoever Peter Paul was that gave you a candy bar when you were walking <laughs> home from school is your own thing. But... I could have sworn it was called a Peter Paul... Hold on, now I gotta oh, look this yeah, up. yeah, from the guy in the van. What? No, no, my mom... You Hold on, a Peter Paul it, mounds... But I'm, I'm looking this up because who makes the mounds? See? It, Peter Paul? Peter Paul told you. It's a Peter Paul mounds. People just called it a mound. I I'll t- I'll tell you, you know what? Do you have access to uh, internet right now? The... No, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at Peter Paul, Mount, Peter Paul Mounds. I didn't know that. So, okay. so, so Peter Paul was a candy manufacturing company. Obviously, it was purchased by Hershey. Yeah, Hershey, yeah. But, but if you look at a Mounds bar, very, very small at the top above Mounds, it's a little blue thing. And what's it say right at the top there, Jeff? Okay, I didn't know that, but was it called that during the Great Depression? <laughs> well, I assume so, because the, the Peter Paul was from the 1800s, but my whole life, everyone I've ever known has called it a Peter Paul. So, like, for example, like, when, when we went to get, you know, what's that, eat, like, Easter candy, or, like, we would do Halloween, like, my mom or my grandma, they would always say, hey, did you get any Peter Pauls? And then when, when she said... Hey, I know about Peter Paul. You know, then then I would give her a Peter Paul, and we would always trade them for a Winston or a Werther's. Would you? Yes. Okay. Let All me right. ask you something. Are you truthfully have never heard of a Peter I Paul? I've never heard. I just knew it was a Mounds Bar. I didn't know of this man, Peter Paul. Okay. Uh, I knew nothing about it. I never even saw it. Nobody. Here's the thing. Nobody seeks out a Mounds. Okay, a Mounds bar is something that falls into your lap possibly on the Halloween, into the bag. But nobody goes out and looks for, what is it, a Peter Paul? A Peter Paul! You, you go and purchase a Peter Paul? I absolutely seek out a Peter Paul. As a matter of fact, do you know, do you know, uh, you know, uh, what, are they, what are those called? Uh, it's coconut. It is, but for example, do you know the Cadbury egg that everyone likes? Sure. They were called Peter Paul Schweppes. No, they were called Cadbury. Eggs. No, no, no. They were called Peter Paul Schweppes. They Peter Paul created the Cadbury Schweppe. And so, and I'm telling you, when I grew up, maybe it's just because my nana used it, but she would always ask if, you know, she said, do you want some Peter Paul Schweppes or do you want a Peter Paul? A Peter Paul Schweppe is a Cadbury egg and a Peter Paul is a Mounds bar. I've never, I'm being honest with you. I've never heard that in my life. And as I look it up and I see Peter Paul Cadbury, I'm, I'm looking at it now. Now, if uh, you look at it. Cadbury Schweppes, it's a, a British multinational right. confectionery company. Right. But it used. owned by Mandela's International, originally Kraft Foods since 2010. But if you go to the Peter Paul Candy Manufacturing Company, Cadbury Schweppes, or a Peter Paul Schweppes, was the original 1919 name, Peter Paul Halogen, or whatever the hell his name was. He was the guy who came up with the Cadbury egg and the mouse. This is like England and, 
you know, you're such an, uh, this is, 